Hi all, I'm at UK Gamer and this is my second pickup video featuring games I've picked up uh, about the middle of May after the PC games and this time I'm focusing on four games for the Xbox family systems that I have bought at the same time. Uh, they're not all from two series this time. I also said there's Star Wars but that's for the next pickup video which is going to focus on Nintendo games. But these four are across the Xbox and the 360 systems. One of which is a gift from a fellow YouTuber. And you know who you are when you see it. Let's get into the pickups. First one, uh, this ended up costing me 50p. So when I saw it's £3.50 in CX, I think I did pretty well, especially considering this is actually in pretty good condition. It is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, I've played one and two. I like the concept, but I never really got into them because they were really slow, I found. But this, I've heard really good things about being faster, about the stuff on the ships. And who doesn't want to be a pirate, if I'm honest? So... I'm really intrigued to give this a try. So, if this doesn't get me back into uh, Assassin's Creed, then I just think I might as well just give up on the series now, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, the case is a little iffy down the side. I don't know how you see it. But literally, that's it. It's even got... Um, the side bit. So, yeah. But happy, really happy to get that for 50p. Uh, simply... Okay, so actually the next two tie in with the gifts I said about from the other YouTuber. But this is not it, but you'll see, you'll see. I bought this for £3 from the Retro Hunter in Leon C my local retro game shop. So shout out to Ali at The Retro Hunter. Uh, I'll leave a link to their social media accounts. It's a vintage games and toy shop and it's absolutely brilliant in there. Um, it is Burnout 2, Point of Impact. I've played this on the GameCube as my girlfriend owns it, but I don't think I actually own it, uh, own it on anything. I do own the original though on Xbox and GameCube and I absolutely love playing that. And I also like the crash mode on here. Common if it's called crash mode or something else, but basically there's you just take out how many cards you can in one go. It's really fun. So yeah. Complete. I said it was three pounds. And from what I remember playing this and the original burnout, it's well worth that. It's car racing. But with a difference, and the crashes are normally quite spectacular. So, I would recommend this game for anyone, if I'm totally honest. And according to Xbox World, you've never seen such a polished racer. And Xbox Gamer says, this is a gem of an arcade racer. So, yeah. Uh, either way, highly recommended. And this leads into the present from YouTuber. It is... Uh, my good old friend, the Retro Bear. So, first of all, thank you, Russ, for the game. And I will be in touch with you soon if this comes out before I do it, or if not, you can ignore that because I've really messaged you. Uh, and sorted out the game, as I said. But the one he sent me was Burnout Paradise for the 360. This is uh, when EA had taken over the franchise. It's still really good. I think I prefer it where it was the older ones, but I still really enjoy the later games. But this is one I haven't played. I do seem to remember it's been out on Switch recently, the remaster or something. So once I have tried this fully, I may have to get the Switch one if I really do enjoy it. Uh, I've got a cool bit of the map on the inside as well, which I quite like actually. So, yeah. So... Shout out to the Retro Bear for sending me this. Much appreciated, mate. 
and you will get your game soon. And I apologise for any delay in that as well. Uh, I would also like to quickly say, uh, that was only part of a package from the Retro Bear. There's another thing he sent me, but I'm going to hold that off for now. And I will be recording a video with it soon. And I'll go into more details about what he sent me and what's happening with it, etc. at that point. Okay. Last game. This one cost me £4, which is half of what it goes for as ZX, which was £8. And the case has a crack on the top of it. But I've checked the disc and it's pretty mint. So I'm absolutely delighted to get this for £4. Uh, I'm an old school Sega boy. My first console was the Master System. And in fact, I don't know if you can pick up, but there's a load of Mega Drive games there. There's Master System below them. And so I've gone and bought loads of Sega stuff. As I said, I've got Japanese Dreamcast games up there-ish. And that's what this ties into. It is Dreamcast Collection for the Xbox 360 featuring Sega Bass Fishing, Sonic Adventure, Space Channel 5 Part 2, and Crazy Taxi. I've never played Bass Fishing or Space Channel, so I'm intrigued to actually try, especially Space Channel 5. That's one I've wanted to try. But Sonic Adventure is really fun, although I do prefer the second one. And who doesn't love Crazy Taxi? And because this was £4, as you can see from the sticker here, it's from Cash Martin Basildon, uh, it works at a pound each for them, which I am definitely not complaining of. So I'm really happy with that pickup. Oh, my nose is itchy. Um, yeah. So, those are some Xbox games I've picked up over the last few days. Again, around the middle of May time. Let me know what you think, whether you think I did well. Um, and which of them would be your favourite to play. And also, if you feel like it, which is your favourite of the four on the Dreamcast collection. Personally, I would probably go Sonic Adventure. But I say Crazy Taxi pushes it really far. But yeah. Anyway, as I said, the next video will be Nintendo pickups. This is where the Star Wars games will feature. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and set the notification bell to get the notification of when that does go up. But in the meantime, I've been that UK Gamer. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.